I think what the uh, the pandemic has done is it's brought a lot of conversations, debates um, that were potentially and, and, and indeed changes that were potentially going to happen five to 10 years down the line. It's brought them forward and it's allowed us to see that there are things that can, can be done differently. I think throughout the pandemic, we saw people innovate. We saw really positive changes in so many other areas. We need to hold on and harness these changes and, and, and bring these forward to today. So I think the conversations around education reform and exam reform um, are being talked about now more than ever. And I think this is a time that, that, that we absolutely uh, need to do it. I, I completely agree with, with Kat and Justin on their points that we need to be equipping our young people with the skills that they're going to need tomorrow. The, much of what the curriculum teaches is not necessarily going to be uh, what they're going to be utilising in, in the workplace. The, the world of uh, work industry is, is moving at a faster pace than ever before. And the school system is not keeping up. We need to be ensuring that there is an exam system fit for purpose. We also need to ensure that our young people are learning the skills that, that they're going to need and have the opportunity for choice. We are an online school and we provide a different alternative pathway to, to education. And I think that's what this is about. It's not a one size fits all. We need to give our young people the choice of the way that works for them in terms of how they learn and the different pathways to achieving whatever success looks like for them.